Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about meters and the difference between an inexpensive meter and a quality, more expensive meter. So <clears throat> we have a true sine wave inverter, a modified sine wave inverter. We have a true RMS meter and a low cost uh, voltmeter. So I'm going to show you the difference. So we're going to start with the modified sine wave first and the less inexpensive meter. So if I go to read the voltage output, you'll see I'm only getting 95 volts. The reason being is this is not a true RMS meter and it's not reading correctly. If I go to the higher end meter, which is true RMS, I plug it into the modified sine wave inverter, I read approximately 120 volts. Now we're going to move over to the true sine inverter. The true sine inverter is not going to make a difference on what meter we use, again, because it's true sine. So if I plug in the less inexpensive meter, I'm going to read 120 volts. If I take and plug in my higher end inverter, sorry, my higher end meter, again, I'm going to read approximately 120 volts. So the reason I bring this up is because we'll get calls all the time on a modified sine wave inverter with a lower cost voltmeter with the customer saying, hey, my inverter is not putting out what it should be, 120 volts. As we saw, it was only putting out 94 volts. Okay.